All right, y'all. Today is very interesting. Monica, get this. She gets in a fan. There's a fight starting in the crowd. She gets in a fan's face and tells him, this ain't no knuck if you buck. So she's talking about her music. All right. So, you know, that song knuck if you buck. Matter of fact, repeating that over and over alone is like a mantra. So that is a sin in itself because it's veinless babbling. And that's what he calls. We read that. And that alone is sinning. So she mentions the sin and she calls it out. And then she says it ain't that. But she's ready to be physical as a brawler. So she's up there saying knock if you buck. But she's even ready to be a brawler. Yo, this is not mocked. All right. John chapter 12, verse 27. Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. All right. Check this out. Because they're saying my behavior brought me here. Okay. They're realizing they're coming to themselves. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall unto the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. He that loveth his life shall lose it. And he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto his life eternal. So you guys say, I hate life. I don't like life. It, that's a good thing because you're realizing the wickedness in the world. But you're supposed to come to Jesus. And that's the way you survive. Okay. Right there. This world shall keep it unto life eternal. If any man serve me, let him follow me and where I am. There shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Now is my soul trouble. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. The people, therefore, that stood by and heard it said that it thundered. Others said an angel spake to him. Jesus answered and said, this voice came not because of me, but for your sakes. Right there. Yo, right there. They heard God speak to him, but he let them know. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, right there. Your prayers are answered when you're a believer. You don't have to hear it get thundered, but it's real right there. God's God's real. But he said, believe on my son. We read that out of the book of Ephesians chapter one. We read that. So right there, it confirms again that our prayers are answered when we ask them and we're sincere. OK, that's what I'm telling you. It's real. This isn't big. <laughs> so she was ready to be a brawler. Get this. It gets deeper. It gets even deeper. All right. Matthew chapter 26, verse 13. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. And what more are we talking about? Because remember, it's Monica saying nothing if you buck. All right. Matthew 26. <laughs> And we're going to start at the uh, 10th verse. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you. But me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this anointment, ointment in my body. She did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wherever so are, this gospel shall be preached in the whole world. There shall also this that this woman hath done. He told for a memorial of her. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went unto the chief priest and said unto them, what will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver. And from that time, he saw opportunity to betray him. He's saying there are many people who are going to betray you in life. They betrayed him. Everything that happens in life, but trusting on Jesus Christ. This is why we must, because he reveals things to us. You won't know anything without Jesus. He's looking to betray him just for money. This is what the celebrities are doing. They're betraying God for money. They're putting money over Christ. They're, they're looking to be rich. They want to be filthy rich. 
They just want to count money. They just that's all they want to do. They're betraying God, like Judas is scary and giving him up. You're giving him up. How can this be mocked? You guys got to read, yo. I'm telling you. How can this be mocked? Monica was rich. How long she been rich? She's been filthy rich. And then she's being a brawler to the guy without any reason. Like, she's willingly sinning. That's crazy, yo. Hold on. It's not done. I was super. Ezra, chapter 4, verse 16. We certified the king that if this city be built again, and the walls thereof set up, by this means thou shalt have no portion on this side of the river. Genesis chapter 28, verse 17. And he was afraid and said, how dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God. And this is the gate of heaven. Let's read this. All right. Who's saying this? Verse 14. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east. And to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all thy places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awake out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid, and said, How dreadful is this place? This is none other but, but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillow and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of the, that city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on. Right there. In any situation. If you trust on Jesus Christ. He is God. You can do all things. All things. Right there. It took you to the beginning where this was said. They were in a dreadful place. And he said, what is this called? He told him it was the house of God because wherever they are, he is there too. Yo, this is not my, God is the real savage. Stop playing with him. Stop playing. Jesus Christ is the real savage. Yo, bro, I can't make this up. There's nothing I can make up. All proof on this page. I'm still not done. Yo. All right, this is crazy. Back to Genesis, chapter 31, verse 52. This heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and that thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. Okay. Let's get it. And Mizpah, for he said, the Lord watch between me and thee, then we were absent one from another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters or if thou shalt take other wives beside my daughters, no man is with us. See, God is witness betwixt me and thee. And Leb Leban said to Jacob, behold this heap and behold this pillar, which I have cast between me and thee. His heap be witness and this pillar be witness that I will not pass over this heap to thee and that thou shalt not pass over this heap. And this pillar unto me for harm, the God of Abraham and the God of Nahor and the God of their father judge betwixt us and Jacob swear by the fear of his father, Isaac. Then Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount and said and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread and tarry all night in the mount and early in the morning. Leban rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them. And Leban departed and returned unto his place. Guys, by the Lord, you have your peace. By the Lord, you have your strength. By the Lord, you have your existence right there. 
kissing his kids, leaving on a long journey, saying, God, protect them. He said, I got them. Okay. This is what you must do. Period. No argument by scripture. Uh, like this is the thing. They didn't like I'm not arguing with these dudes and they know it. That's why they didn't say nothing. Because this is pure scripture. You against this is blasphemy. It's clear. Like it's clear cut. That one was very serious. Monica. That Monica. I don't know exactly what it is. Are you trying to curse the other people? I don't know. Because you named the Nuck if you buck. That's not your song title. I don't know if you're cursing the group. I don't know. I don't know what type of game you're playing with that. Because there was nothing to say. Do you know them? I'm confused. But I will say this. It is very serious because you're trying to judge them for that same scenario. But you sinned in his face with the same sin. So you said to him basically, oh, you think this is getting Nuck if you buck? But you were ready to get buck in his face. You were ready to go at him. That's the same sin. You did the same sin in front of his face and tried to judge him for the sin. I can't make this up. You did the same sin in his face that you came down and addressed him for doing. Ma'am, does that even make sense? <laughs> what? Ma'am, listen, man. You guys got to focus on making music for the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God. Not whatever you're trying to do, because that's not going to work. The kingdom of God is what will last. And you've been in and out the limelight. Maybe you guys need to look for something to build, man. But I'm telling you, you need to do it the right way. You can't tell him what he got to do if you don't understand it. You don't have no chance. You got to pray. You got to understand. You got to read. It's not just about meditating. It's fasting. You got to do it with him in your mind. Because your behavior would have been different. It will always be different. He gives you the peace to deal with stuff, man. This is absolutely fact. I'm reading it. But this story, you have to understand that person, they could have been in a situation where you ministered to them. You could have went down there and coddled them and protect, protect them, took them up here and turned the situation around and made your show shine bright. You could have changed it and changed their life. But you chose to judge them instead of say, look, let me show you. Hey, look, focus. You got it. You can make you can do it. You did none of that. And just because you did not do that. Now you left a person that will forever remember you in their face, judging them with the same thing you're kicking to them in their face. That's mockery. That's mockery of God. It's not even mockery of them. You're mocking God because you ought to know you're going down there to say something to them. So why are you not going to treat them differently? Ma'am, it's cut and dry. Got to tell you, you guys got to really come to it. And please, ma'am, examine music going in the future. Let me read this last one to you, ma'am. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying you're not understanding, man. Guys, the crux right here. Titus chapter three, verse two, to speak evil of no man. To be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Right there, Monica. Right there. You weren't meek. You came down there in their face trying to go at it. And I'm proving right here. There's no argument on what I'm saying. Right here. Showing all meekness. Me look up meekness, ma'am. You are a celebrity. They pay for your show. You should have showed them meekness to change their experience. But you purposely went down there to somebody you quote unquote called a brawler because you said there was a fight in the crowd. You didn't say they were fighting. You said it was a fight in the crowd. OK, but you did the opposite. Therefore, you were chastising them and you sinned against them before they even got a chance to defend themselves verbally, man. Your music. Then you're coming out the music of other people. You should be reproving them. You got a problem with the with the mob's music that made that? I don't know their full name. Crime mob, I guess. You got a problem with them, Monica. Because you're you're slandering them at the same time. You're you're joking on it. Come on, this is a fan. 
You don't, why are you looking at other people's music? Focus on your music, making it for Jesus Christ. Okay, man. This is very important. Very important. All rights are yours, but this is right on time. Guys, I got to catch myself. <laughs> right on time. You already know.